Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh my gosh, why? Why did she pass away? She just ate like, oh, what, what's happening? Don't tell me it's impaction. Oh my gosh, that's like, that's like a poop. Is that legit impaction? Like, she couldn't, oh my gosh, she couldn't poop out. Just another thing that cannot be avoided. Sometimes it happens. Oh my, are you freaking like, oh, I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> This is legit like my rarest species. Yes, the rarest current species that I have. You know why I say rarest? Because at the time of this recording, there, I mean, even when I bought her, yep, at the time of this recording, because it's like after I bought her, there isn't really a lot of information of this species online, right? So... I, I actually bought two, right? I bought two of these Citharognathus tongmenensis, and unfortunately, yeah, I guess it's impaction. Freaking impaction, man. Her abdomen, she, she, she was not able to poop for some reason. Why do tarantulas even have impaction? I don't know, I need to do more research on this. But it happens, I guess, and why does it have to happen to my rarest species oh my gosh could it be also that it's old because you look at the colorations less like all of these black markings does that mean this tarantula is old i haven't got a single clue but yeah you can see the the poop is impaction let me show you my other one which is directly below her so in here is my other Sutharognathus tongmenensis and at the back there, as you can see over there, that's the burrow. Let me put my phone in and show you guys her. It may not be focused, but you should be able to see her in there. I, I can't see her, but my phone is like, yeah. That is my other Sutharognathus tongmenensis. She, she made a really, really deep burrow in there. Sorry if my phone wasn't focused, but yeah she, she's usually there i'm not sure if the camera actually picked her up but she's usually there every time i check so hopefully you guys saw her but unfortunately this one has passed away and i am really really bummed about that because it is definitely not anything else besides the the impaction because she actually ate a couple days ago right and a lot of times when my tarantula dies, it's after a molt, when they are too weak after a molt and they just lie flat and die. But this one, yeah, we can already see what was the issue. So, yeah, I, 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 I just don't know what to say. Cause this is like a super beautiful tarantula. You see that, that what I love about this tarantula, look at the back legs they are super fluffy and now it's like oh my gosh you may see the abdomen as shriveled up and dehydrated but that's not the case because a lot of times they do shrivel up after they die and <laughs> yeah i really don't know what to say anymore in this video it's, does she even smell nope not a single smell she I think just passed away maybe a day, two days ago. So yeah. Impaction. Whew. Shoot man. I've I've not even had her for for more than six months. I've had her only for a couple months. And she never once refused food like believe me never once refused food 
I have fed her probably ever since the time I got her. I have fed her, I would say maybe seven, eight times and every single time she ate. And even before she died, she ate. And she just randomly drops dead. And I see why now. At first, she's always out of her burrow. But then, these couple days, she was in the burrow. So, I was thinking, hmm, maybe she's ready to molt. So I just waited and waited and waited. And then, yesterday, I actually saw her like this, but I didn't think that she actually died. Maybe she was just resting because I just saw her from like like quite of a distance and I didn't like go really near. And then today I was like, hmm, she's still in the same position. So I checked on her and true enough, she was like this, you guys saw. And then I used my tongs to pick her up. And then I was like, hmm, why did she die? Could it be old age because of the black markings? I don't know because the guy didn't tell me how old they are. And they just he just told me that they are captive bred. So I was like, okay, captive bred should be safe because wild caught tarantulas, sometimes they have parasites and all. So I was like, yeah, I've always wanted one of these Vendula, like Tongmanensis species, but Unfortunately, one passed away, and I'm not sure if it's because of old age, but then I, I don't think so because the reason is right there. She couldn't poop out, which is so unfortunate, and I really don't know what to do. Well, there's really nothing I can do, but just look and feel upset about it because I, this is also... The only one time that I've seen this species, like, being sold over here, so, yeah. I don't think I will ever find this species being sold again. I really hope that one day I can find a matured male and pair with that female, so hopefully we'll have babies and then we can carry on their generation. But, as for this one, yeah. I bought these for, like, a hundred bucks, so, not too bad. But still quite painful because they're so rare and this happens. So, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely not going to be throwing this away or burying it. I'm definitely going to be preserving this because it's the rarest species that I have. But maybe we'll do that in another video. I'll just put this in the freezer first. Or maybe I even taxidermy it in the future. I don't know. But yeah, guys. Anyways. A little bit for this sad, sad video. I will see you guys in the next one. So sad, man. Why does this even happen?